Hey there yogis, I'm Nicole. Welcome back to My Yoga Time and today's mindful morning practice. Though of course you can do this class at any time of the day. It's especially therapeutic if you're going to be sitting for long periods of time and it's suitable for all levels of experience from beginners right up to the more advanced yogi. So I've got one block for this practice but you can do this class without that prop and as always with my classes, especially the morning classes, I encourage you to set your intention, your positive resolve for the day. And it's especially helpful if you can just choose the one word, there's less opportunity for the mind to argue. So when you set your intention for the day, think about something you want to invite into your practice, your body, your mind. So this could be compassion, patience, love, abundance, whatever it is that you're needing to invite into your day. So take a few moments in the first pose to set your intention. We're gonna start in our child's pose, coming over onto all fours. And then taking those knees nice and wide, big toes to touch, and sinking the hips back. So if this isn't an option for you with knees and hips, then you can always take a puppy pose, keep the bottom up nice and high, and extend the arms out in front from here. And as always with my classes, I encourage you to place the very tip of your tongue where the teeth meet the roof of the mouth, and we'll feel a little tone in the back of your throat for ujjayi breath. So the first few breaths here, we'll keep those palms flat, forehead resting on the mat. And begin to feel the breath moving the body. Feel the back rise and expand as you inhale. Take a moment to pause before you exhale slowly. And just notice how the body responds to each breath. Each inhalation creating more space. Each exhalation removing tension. And take the next breath or two to set your intention for your practice. And let's fire up those shoulders now. Lift the palms up off the mat. Keep the fingertips touching the mat and draw your shoulders back towards your hips. So quite active here through the shoulders. And you might even like to do little pulses through the tips of the fingers. And then taking a side bend now, lifting up. Let's walk the hands over to your left. Keep the right arm straight. Little lift in the right armpit as you breathe down the right side of the body. Let's inhale to center and walk all the way over to the other side. Left arm can stay straight. Little bend in the left elbow. And coming back to center. Let's come down onto those forearms now. Option to move into a forearm plank. So we'll straighten the legs, tucking the toes under and tucking the tailbone under. You can feel the upper back round here just a little. If this is too strong, one knee at a time is fine. Or of course, bring those hips down into your Sphinx pose. So helpful here, yogis, to engage Mula Bandha. So we're toning at the base around the genitals. Ladies might like to lift the pelvic floor. Great way to support your back. Well done, let's lower down. Take a brief Sphinx pose. Gently drawing the elbows back towards the ribs. And if you have a prop here, let's recruit that prop. We're gonna roll onto the right side. So option one, you'll prop your head up. Option two, you'll lay your ear down on the bicep. So your left knee is gonna rest on your prop. Right leg is straight, we're taking a quad stretch. Rotate the leg so the heel points up to the ceiling, thigh faces down towards the mat. Then move that leg back as far as you can before bending the knee and collecting the foot. 
If you can't reach the foot, use a strap or even a tie or a belt will do the trick. And then gently find a little bit of resistance between the foot and the hand. Slight tuck of the tailbone and start to breathe down the right side of the body. Deepening the pose by deepening your breath. This is one of my favorite back bends to do first thing in the morning. It's gentle, but very effective. Your next exhalation, release that foot. Moving your hand to your left leg now, so either to the outer leg, or maybe you can pistol grip your big toe, so peace fingers, pistol grip, and then we'll straighten that leg. And lower down. So stacking the legs now for our candlestick pose. So we'll lower the ear down to the bicep again. Option one, keep those left fingertips on the mat. We're gonna hover the feet up off the mat. Be sure to tuck the tailbone under again and engage Mulabandha. Option two, lift the head and the right arm. Option three, take the palms together. So it's okay if you fall, you don't have far to go here. Well done, yogis, lower down. Coming up into a side sphinx, either on your forearms or straightening the arms a little deeper, looking over your left shoulder. And let's lower down, changing sides now. Take your prop over if you have it. Taking that quad stretch first, resting right knee on the block. Rotate that left leg, take it back, reach for the foot. Find that spacious breath down the left side of the body. And be sure to inhale your intention from time to time. Let's exhale to release. Taking your hand to the outer right leg or pistol gripping the big toe, let's straighten. And lower down. Coming into your candlestick pose now, prepare, engage your core. Hover those feet up off the mat, either staying there or lifting the head, lifting the left arm, maybe bringing the palms together. And lower down, side sphinx, either onto the forearms or straightening those arms, looking over the shoulder. Well done, yogis. Let's come to all fours. Hands under shoulders now. Make sure those middle fingers are parallel to one another. And I want you to press into the pads of the fingers, but try and lift the very tips of the fingers. We'll curl the toes under and just hover those knees off the mat. Well done. Knees down. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale into round. And the next time you round the spine, keep that roundedness. Move the hips up and back, downward facing dog. From here, let's lift the left leg. Option one, keep the left leg straight and the hip square. Option two, lift the hip and bend the knee. So your knee points up to the ceiling. Look under your armpit and try and flex your left foot as though you're kicking something away. And then we'll straighten the legs, square the hips, step through into your lunge, pressing into both feet as you float the arms up, strong in the legs. So a little bend in the back knee is fine. Press the feet away as though you're stretching the mat. And then a little side bend here, left hand lowers down, reach up and over through those right fingertips.
and come back to center. Option one here in your twist, right hand to the outer knee. Option two, lower the elbow down, bring the hands to prayer. And let's return to the front, lower right knee down, hips move back as you straighten your left leg now, point the toes to the ceiling and try and drag the heel back. A little lift through the tailbone here will lengthen those hamstrings that little bit more. And let's walk the hands forward, coming into lizard pose now. So both hands on the inside of the left foot, heel toe the foot over and sink those hips down. For this lizard pose, we're gonna keep pressing down through that big toe knuckle, keep drawing the knee in. Gently draw the hands back as you reach the heart forward. Option one is as you are, option two, a little quad stretch. We'll bend that right knee, reach back for the foot. If you can't reach the foot, it doesn't matter, stay with option one. If you do have the foot, gently kick the foot into the hand, find a nice back bend here. And let's release, return to plank. Option, of course, to lower knees to the mat, otherwise hold your plank, round out the upper back. Bring the body forward a little, and you want the elbows to brush the ribs as you come all the way down. Inhale into baby cobra, draw the hands back. Exhale, return to plank, and downward facing dog. Float the right leg up. Option to stay there or bend the knee and lift the hip. Straighten the legs, square the hips and step through for your lunge. Inhale, both arms up. Lower right hand down, lift up through those left fingertips. Lower left hand to the knee, stay there for your twist. Or take the elbow to the knee and bring the hands to prayer. Strong and straight in your back leg now. Let's return to center. Lower back knee down, half pyramid pose, so you're straightening the right leg. Breathing into the hamstring. And bending in that knee, coming forward, lizard pose, moving the foot over to the right just a little. Hands drawing back, heart reaching forward. Either staying there or find your quad stretch if you did so on the other side, kicking the foot into the hand, opening the heart center. Inhaling your intention. And let's release, return to plank. Again, option to lower the knees, come down into your baby cobra, or you can bend the elbows, hover an inch above the mat, roll over the toes for a deeper back bend, upward dog. So if you're an upward dog, make sure your knees are not on the mat. Knees are on the mat for cobra, elbows are bent. Arms are straight for up dog, knees off the mat. Well done. Downward facing dog, your last one. I'm encouraging you here to take three lion's breaths. So we'll inhale through the nose and then you exhale through the mouth, stick out your tongue and open your eyes wide. Let's inhale. Two more. You're purging through the breath. (sighs) 
Well done, yogis. Come forward into plank once again. Either knees to the mat or chaturanga all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra. And then exhale to lower and then flip over onto your back. Once on your back, we'll take butterfly pose, so feet together, knees nice and wide. Hands can rest on your navel, by your side, or above the head. And as you inhale, feel as though you're breathing down to the lower belly, the lower back, the hips and thighs. And then when you get there, pause. Hold the breath and engage Mulabandha once again. So as you turn at your base, you should feel an inward, upward lift. Maintain that as you exhale. And then inhale, relax, be soft, let the breath descend. And then turn as you exhale. Out breath, ascends. Now let's inhale those knees together now. Moving into a twist, we'll cross the left leg over the right, move your hips just a little to the left, and the knees coming down to the right. Try to relax the outer hips, the buttocks. And gently deepen your breath to deepen the twist. Focusing on the breath helps us to be mindful, to be here now, in the present moment. Twists are a great way to relieve tension along the spine and also to stimulate our digestion. Let's bring those knees back to center. Move the hips a little to the right, we'll change sides. Knees coming over to the left. As you breathe out any last bit of tension from the body, you might have the urge to ha out the breath. Now let's come back to center, uncrossing the legs as we move into Shavasana for just a minute or two. Taking up as much space on the mat as you can, tucking those shoulders under. Option to connect index finger and thumbs for chin mudra. And softening the forehead. the tongue and jaw. And as you drift into Shavasana, inhale your intention into your spacious body, quiet mind. Let's inhale a little deeper now. 
Feel the breath touch the nostrils. Feel free to swallow if the mouth is dry. Or wiggle toes and fingers. Following any urges to stretch as though you just woke up. And when you're ready, roll to your preferred side before pushing up to seated. Thanks, yogis, for practicing with me today. I hope that you enjoyed your mindful morning practice. If so, please do subscribe to the channel, not just my channel, but any teacher that you watch on a regular basis. It's the best way to support free yoga on YouTube. Wishing you a lovely day. Namaste.